Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Sonya Miller here of Junk Monkey Paint Company and I've got a surprise for you guys, okay? I only share my my prize pickings with my friends and I'm excited to share with you guys today some recent paintings over the last few summers that I've picked and been very proud of picking when I've been out. Uh, just kind of like, you know, when you find places where you get to pick through all the junk. And so these came from different places. I'm trying to think back. The first two I'm gonna share with you are some beautiful posies, some flower, um, prints, I think they're original paintings actually. They're all original paintings, which is super, super cool to be able to find them. And you just never know where things show up. So for me, I love to do auctions and I'm also not afraid to go picking if I see a place in the side of the road that just says yard sale, you know, stuff for sale, come buy my stuff, you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't mind picking and finding things. And so they might be dusty, yeah, they might be a little bit, you know, shows where the, the years of use has been, but I still love them. And so I'm gonna share with you the first two ones that I got. They actually came, you know, ever like go to an auction and ironically you just see that uh, somebody else collects something that you love as well, right? A lot of times we find people who have the same sort of interest as us. So when I hit on an auction and I sit in the crowd and I'm seeing stuff come up, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that, right? And it goes for super, super cheap. That is like the bee's knees. So I am a shabby style painter and I also love for myself as well to paint shabby rosettes. That's what I call them, my vintage posies. And so this is an example, don't be peeking back there just yet, but this is an example of one that I found and I absolutely love. So you guys know I'm coming from a new, I'm gonna clean this up as I'm chatting with you guys, just a little bit of um, water um, because it's been in storage and it needs to be cleaned, right? Um, but I just recently moved here and if you saw my last vlog, we were able to branch out in the building that we're in here at Junk Monkey Paint Company. And now I have an entire studio to dedicate to my arts. I have an art studio, like an actual functioning art studio where I'm not sharing a space with something else for the first time in my life. So for somebody like me as a major creator, I have no, like seriously, this is the first vlog we're filming in here. And once we get everything all in place, with all my my favorite art prints and supplies all around the room, we're gonna make and create together in here as well, okay? So I'm gonna dust this off and clean the front part off as well, but you can see it's just in a beautiful wooden frame. This is gorgeous, I love it. It's kind of dark, it's got a little bit of like a teal turquoise color too, a little bit of yellow, but I love how dramatic and moody it is. So I am going to definitely put this right here in my studio. What do you think guys? Do you like the number one painting? And by the way, this is a rug, can you see it right here? I'm just, I just have this up against it right now and I can totally see how these colors are gonna go together. So, so nice. All right, so Mr. Painting, you sit over there. I'm gonna give myself two thumbs up for that find. And the cool thing is with these paintings that I uh, purchased through an auction, like I'm getting them in, in a roundabout price point of 15 to $20. So when you can go to an auction and somebody's junk can become your treasure and instead of them going to the garbage and you can reappreciate it, it's just an amazing thing. This is one of my like, oh my gosh, this came from the same home. Can you tell whoever was in this home, that me and her, him, whoever, we definitely uh, were sisters from another mister or you know, two peas in a pod. So I love this one as well because it's got some beautiful red roses on it here. This is original as well. You can see the um, artist name is signed down there and I cannot wait to put this on my wall. I'm a big believer in, you know what, surround yourself with the things that make you happy, right? And you don't have your tap, you don't have to have your space designed just like you see on Pinterest or you know what you know you think is acceptable like farmhouse or you know if you love color if you love whimsy and funness you know what do what makes you happy because at the end of the day when i come here to my shop and i'm able to create and i come into this space it makes me excited to get up in the mornings it makes me excited to be able to come to a place that just makes me happy right so anyway this was painting number two give me hearts do you do you like it what are your comments on painting number two post them below okay i want to see what you think but I am so happy with this find, and I love how the frame is all crackled just over time just because it's really old. And I have no idea how old these paintings are, but they're old, old. Okay, all right, this is the next one. Now, Aloria, who is my videographer behind the scenes today, she doesn't even know what's underneath these curtains, okay? Aloria, are you like nervous? Yeah. You, you are? Oh, yeah. Come on, you trust me, right? You know my style. 
So, um, yeah, so I had a chance, for those of you who follow uh, us on the Junk Monkey, especially on our Facebook page, you'll see appearances by Kate and Adam, and um, so I had a chance, Kate has not seen it yet, maybe we'll have to call her up, but Adam, I had a chance to show these paintings to him this morning, and God love him, because if you know, if you know him from the experiences, he, he kind of, he, you know, the eyes say it all, but, but I think he was holding back from telling me what he really thought, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm gonna get in this position over here because I want you guys to have full view. All right, are you ready, Aloria? Can you stand it? Mm -hmm. So I have to tell you the story and why they are in, uh, or covered, I should say, in potato sacks right now. This is the art. Do you love the potato sacks? We're gonna repurpose this too. But um, the day I bought these two paintings was a rainy, rainy day and I went into uh, an old building to go picking and um, I found these two paintings like just kind of like hidden at the end of a little area, a little corridor area, everything was stacked up and uh, I found them kind of like hiding in the corner. They weren't out in plain view, but when I saw them, it was like oh, calling my name. Okay, so I will put a disclaimer on here. I like big eye paintings, okay? I like whimsical, I like big eye paintings, I like fun paintings and I love color. And I'm, I'm thinking this pretty much sums it all up. But what I did not know was that uh, this painting here that is also an original uh, is actually worth a lot of money. And right now on eBay, you can find these paintings selling for upwards of um, $600. And so ask me how much I paid for these two paintings I'm about to share with you. $20 a pop, okay? You ready? All right, Aloria, I'm gonna want you to describe this in three words, okay? I'm just curious, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Can you do it? Can you do it? Or give me a sentence, all right? I'm curious, all right? I, I, she's my audience in the room today, so I need to share this love with somebody else, and you guys too, but I'm just curious. She gets to see it first, because she has to edit this video and keep looking at this photo. Ready? Boom, 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 Ta da What do you think of painting number one, Aloria? Um, clown. Uh, I'm gonna wash off the bird poop. I don't know. You don't know? No. I mean, are you thinking scary? No, not really. No? This would make you run? Okay, Adam was like... Okay. <laughs> now, Riley, my son who saw it, he was like... Why? You know, so everybody has a different reaction, but it didn't make you run. You didn't drop the camera, right? So this is a good thing. But um, I'm gonna clean this canvas on the outside because it does it. Uh, the individual that I purchased it from, um, these two paintings came from a home together, much like the first two. So it's interesting to see the styles of the homes. You know, when you know what you love, surround yourself with it. And so these two, because there is one more, came from the same home and you're gonna see the same sort of feeling and I, I totally can understand like maybe what that person's personality was like, right? Um, Cause it's so fun! But this is an original and it's pretty amazing and so I just knew I loved it for 20 bucks. I was like, heck, I could even like paint the frame, maybe do a blue frame on here or something like that or you can go in black, I think would be awesome. So I'm gonna think about doing that. I may or may not, but at the same time, maybe I don't wanna to touch it now that I know that this is the real deal painting. It's actually done by a painter that signs his painting, paintings by Eden, E-D-E-N. You can actually Google that name. That's what I did uh, when I found them on eBay. And you guys know that I love the big-eyed people, right? The big, uh, what was her name? Margaret Keene. And if anybody's not seen the documentary on her life and work, you have to go watch it on Netflix. It is so, so good. Um, but it was about the same time frame that this gentleman here, Eden, was doing these, um, doing these style, his style. And you hear it referred to as like Moppet style. Um, his, I think, was called Harlequin style. You can see a lot of fun, like clown kind of stuff, like Gloria said there, right? So, but overall, I love this. I, I just so, I, I just can't believe I picked this for 20 bucks. And like I say, the paintings are going upwards of $600 on eBay, but to me, and this is the proof that if you love what you have, then it's invaluable to you, right? You could have told me that this was not even worth $20, but in my mind, I paid $20 for it, not knowing the value of it. And um, to me, it's worth even way more than 600. So these have been in storage. These potato sacks, we put over them the day that I picked them um, because we didn't have anything to cover them with when I ran in this rainstorm to the car. And uh, now for the first time they get to be unveiled and I'm going to put them on my, uh, my studio wall. So watch for those, you will see them in the background. Matt may not like it, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, okay? Cause he's not a fan of big eye people, but I am.
All right, so ready? Number two, let's drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Ta-da! What do you think? What do you think, Aloria? Page hey, number two. Could you see why they came from the same house? Mm. Like, I, this is like, you can't see why they came from the same house? Whimsical, whimsical. This kind of looks a little bit anime to me. Do you find that when you look at her? Could you see that, like a little bit like cartoony? You looks know what I'm saying? It's better than the first one. It's better than the first one? You like this one better? Now, this is a different one, Raymond D, but it's also an original paint. This looks like it's got a little bit of damage right here. I'm not sure what's on it, but I don't care. It's beautiful. It's shabby. It's amazing. Again, $20 I paid for this original painting, and I thought I could, you know, go ahead and give it a nice classic heavy black frame as well. It'll play up for eyelashes and just make it really nice and substantial and really sophisticated and heavy with this frame. I may still do that, so watch for it, but I would definitely have to cover these now that I know that they are the real deal uh, paintings and not just prints, right, to be able to preserve them. But it's interesting to see. I could see how this came from the same house, and I could also see how these two over here also came from the same house, you know? So I guess the moral of the story is pick what makes you happy and um, design your home with your style, right? Because at the end of the day, you're the one who's got to live there, honey bonnet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious, comment below and tell me which one is your favorite painting. It's so hard to pick. Number one, we'll call it shabby moody florets. We'll call number two, teal red posies. Gorgeousness going on right here. Number three is harlequin whimsical clown. Love it. And number four is just, I don't know what you call it, pretty and pink. It's just so pretty. I love it. I love her eyelashes. I love her lips. I love, I just love everything about this. And so this is going to go on my studio wall, which I'm working on today. This is day one of me trying to put my studio together. So, so much to do. So stay tuned. I'll take you on that full tour and you'll be able to see how I put these on my wall, where I put them and how it makes the vibe all come together. Thank you guys for joining me for another vlog here on YouTube every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You'll find new uploads from us and you never know what we're gonna vlog about. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you, hopefully you feel inspired. Get out this weekend and maybe pick something fun for your space too. Something that makes you smile from ear to ear. All right, give me a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And like I said, leave me a comment below. Which one was your favorite? One, two, three, four, four. Bye.